guys. Uh, today we're going to take a closer look at the DC-3 and all the damage that uh, happened with the crash and, uh, and repair it. So on this side, the nacelle, this engine mount uh, came loose off the front here. So it just kind of broke, uh, broke off of that. So that's kind of an easy fix. So just some more epoxy on that and glue it back in place. And then this nacelle will be fine. On this side, of it, on the other hand, it's pretty damaged. You can see, broke all the front part off, and like basically the whole motor mount broke off. Landing gear didn't get damaged at all. This front part needs to be completely rebuilt. And then as far as the fuselage goes, you can see the rear part of the fuselage is undamaged. Um, so right about here is where it's, it's okay. The number four uh, rib in the fuselage. So this is number three and number two is completely damaged. And then number one is here and this is the new nose cowling that I built for the front. So it actually kind of smashed all the rest of it. If I would have had the plastic nose piece on there, it may have taken some of the impact on the front there and might not have smashed the rest of the fuselage so much, but um, number one is completely fine. So I'll just have to cut that off and uh, put that on a new fuselage. I'm basically just gonna cut cut the front off about right here and just rebuild the whole front of the plane. Okay, so I got the plans laid out, um, ready to build the front part. So uh, you can see here is one, two, three, and then four. So this is where the fuselage is pretty much okay from uh, four back to the tail. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just rebuild from number four forward and rebuild all this this part. So what I'm gonna do is, saying that this piece is this uh, piece is okay here, I'm gonna just glue the whole nose right on the front of that. And same with uh, this piece here for the eighth inch square balsa. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some uh, wax paper and uh, start building.
part of it built. So I just went and used the blueprints and remade the whole nose piece from uh, section four forward. And so it was pretty difficult to make these parts. I had to kind of hand make those, which hand draw them out. They're obviously laser cut from when you get the kit. So that was a little difficult to make that part and uh, these parts, but it's all done. I gotta still cut the notches in for the stringers, but now it's time to actually start uh, cutting the fuselage and taking the nose off and then glue this um, nose in place. So one difficult part is to figure out what is the decals. So I wanted to try to reuse decals for now. Um, if they don't turn out, then I can just order some more, but try to peel off one of these. I try to peel off this window right here. And when I peel it off, the glue actually stays on the fuselage and doesn't come off of the sticker. Kind of an interesting material that doesn't really pull the, doesn't pull the glue off of it. So what I'm gonna to try to do is cut around the sticker with an, a blade and leave a little bit of the uh, mono coating on there. And the mono coating has uh, the glue on the back side of it that's activated with the heat. So what I'm gonna to try to do is hopefully cut around the decal, pull the decal off, put the new uh, front on there, build it all up, cover it, and then lay the decal over and use my hanger nine trim tool and just heat the edge of it and glue the edge of it onto the new mono coating. So hopefully it works, but if not, then I'll just take them off and order new decals and do it that way.
thank you everybody for watching my videos and all the comments you've been leaving me and uh, i'll have it up out to the field in a couple of days here and uh, take it out for another flight and here's one more picture to remember the crash thanks for watching guys